the Lucari have been working on a project in the Nakul system. The initial efforts have been quite promising, and they're about to move to the next phase. If successful, the damage to the star in that system will be repaired. Admiral Kumarke has requested our assistance, and I'd like you to provide it. She's sent specifications for a device called the Stellar Rejuvenator. Have your engineer install it on your ship before you disembark. You'll be using it as part of the Lucari efforts there. Report to Admiral Kumarke in the Nakul system when you're ready. Quinn out. Captain's Log, Fifth Reckoning, Chronicle 36. We are about to commence work on a most important operation. An attempt to revitalize the Nakul Star. One of the finest vessels in the Alliance is joining our efforts today. May the wisdom of Lucar guide us to success. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you. It's an honor I fully intend to live up to. More about that later. We've got a job to do. Before we begin, I should warn you. The Nakul are somewhat anxious about this procedure and any complications that might arise. Indeed. But we have earned our trust over the months of research here, and I intend to honor that today. Heading to the primary coordinates now. All hands! Prepare to deploy the Stellar Rejuvenators. It's time to heal a star. We meet again. One hopes your efforts here today will have a better outcome than your previous attempt to repair our star. If I may interrupt. Representative, we are indeed ready to begin the process. With your blessing, of course. Very well. Our fleet is standing by to assist you if necessary. The time has come. Admiral Kumarke, I hereby authorize you and your associates to proceed. May your efforts lead to a new dawn for the Nakul people. Adjusting your cohesion beam frequency. We're reading several disruptions in the cohesion beam, originating 100,000 kilometers from the star's surface. Stellar activity in the area may be causing the fluctuations. Adjust your course to the following coordinates. Let's see if the situation improves there. If we tighten formation, our beams may reinforce one another. Agreed. Move to the following coordinates. You've reached the new coordinates. Deploy from there. Once you've redeployed, you'll need to adjust the frequency again. Modulation sequence on my mark. Mark. Modulation initiated. Energy levels are increasing. Reading erratic spikes at the stellar core. Abort! All ships abort now! Too close for comfort. I detected a feedback loop forming. If we hadn't shut down when we did, 
A stellar flare would have backfired along the cohesion beam. The damage to us and the Nakul would have been... catastrophic. Are you mad? Do you think we will sit by idly while your incompetence puts our star at risk once more? Explain yourself! Immediately! I suggest you do so quickly and with positive results. Rest assured, if you do not save our star, then you can be certain that our fleet will avenge it. I've taken a look at our data from the incident, and I believe I've found something. I've discovered where the cohesion beam started to suffer interference. The coordinates are 0.4 AU from the star. Time to get to the bottom of this before the administrator loses his patience. Some of the asteroids nearby are emitting an unusual level of energy. However, their composition is making long range scans ineffective. Strange. The asteroid is emitting highly energized particles, like the tail of a comet. It's marked as an asteroid in the stellar registry. No mention of reactive properties. So, same asteroid, different behavior. Sounds like we're on the right track. The asteroid is emitting energy in a pattern similar to that of the star earlier. Whatever caused that issue may be in effect here as well. We are still unable to conduct a deep scan of the asteroid, however. If we can devise a way to do so, I believe we will find there is a human expression. You cannot prepare an omelet without cracking a few eggs, or in this case, asteroids. If we fracture one of them with our weapons, we will expose the core and obtain the deep scan results we seek.
Repair radiation signatures. triangulate the origin point and locate the source. Admiral, the Nikul representative is concerned about the destruction of valuable asteroids. Inform him that the Alliance will compensate the Nikul for their loss, please. As you wish, Admiral. Anvame, out. of the anomaly source. Sensor data now. Aha! There you are! The multiphasic pulse waves are originating from high orbit around the planet closest to the Nakul star. Nothing conclusive at this time, I'm afraid. However, if I were to speculate, it's almost like something is tapping against the fabric of space time. <laughs> Approaching the coordinates now. I trust you've spotted our uninvited guests. One thing is certain, we have a limited amount of time to determine what they are doing here before the Nakul detect them. Considering their turbulent history, I doubt the Folians will receive a cordial greeting from Representative Carter or his force. This is peculiar. The Tholians are known for their aggression in response to alien forces, and yet they haven't scanned us or gone to battle readiness. It's as if they are... ignoring us. Attention, Tholian forces! I am Admiral Kumarke of the LSS Raskava. You have violated Nakul space and are disrupting a critical procedure here. I'm instructing you to cease all activities and explain your presence in this system immediately. The border violation is inconsequential. Our work takes priority. We will continue. Do not interfere. Your continued presence is unnecessary. The loss of this star is acceptable to us. Further discussion is irrelevant. Leave now or you will be fired upon. Tholian vessels are going to battle stations. They're moving into attack formation. Battle stations. Tactical. Aim to disable, not destroy. I'm not sure they'll reciprocate that courtesy, Admiral. We need answers, Captain. We to get them from the dead. Understood. Firing to disable only. <laughs>
will cause a complete collapse of the stellar core, resulting in a supernova. I believe a boarding action is in order. We'll disable the Tholian web generator on board the flagship to stop the procedure. I've sent transporter coordinates. Prepare your away team for action. I shall meet you aboard the Tholian vessel. An acceptable risk. What matters most is stopping that procedure and saving the Nakul star with any unforeseen challenges as they present themselves.
beings are somehow penetrating multiple dimensions simultaneously. They appear to be solidifying elements of space-time between these dimensions, repairing damage to the very fabric of reality. There are two spinnerets, shall we say, that emit the energy used to generate the web in space. They all need to be neutralized. Once they're down, we can disable the web generator's primary core, and the entire system will be offline. Unfortunately, no. Their security is blocking access. You will need to bypass that at a nearby security node. Wait a moment. I'd like to access the astrometrics console here. Find more data on the anomaly. Tholians have compiled a detailed list of space-time anomalies throughout known space. Judging by the star dates, they've been at this for quite some time. Centuries, in fact. Yes, this system is listed as a primary concern due to repeated temporal damage to the fabric of space-time. Indeed, the Tholian distaste for time travel is well known. According to log entries, this ship has been sent to prevent a trans-dimensional vortex from forming in the system. Let's access this science problem. I have a theory. Look out! More folians!
I'll need some time to bypass their security system. Please do. I prefer to face as little Tholian hospitality as possible, if you don't mind. to the spinneret controls in two adjacent rooms and shut them both down. Doing so could overload the bypass relays and send a power surge into the vessel's warp core, resulting in a breach. When both spinnerets are deactivated, we can return here and safely disengage the primary projector.
Well done. Both spinnerets are offline. Let's go shut down the main web generator. Cease hostilities. I mean you no harm. Hold your fire. I am now the ranking officer aboard this vessel, and I wish to discuss matters with you peacefully. Correct. Long ago, I traveled alongside the crew of the USS Enterprise, under the command of Captain James T. Kirk. While among their crew, I was given the designation Bright Eyes by my good friend, Niota Uhura. We realize that you were trying to repair an anomaly in space-time here, but your procedure is damaging the Nakul Star to critical levels. I am prepared to hear your proposal, Admiral, but we must speak quickly. It is only a matter of time before my fellow folios on other vessels regroup, and you will find they are not as understanding as I am. I propose a coordinated effort between our ships and yours. We can integrate a protomatter matrix into the web lattice your ship generates, increasing the speed at which the rupture is seen. By doing so, the frequency of pulse waves generated by the repair process will be reduced to acceptable levels, ending 
the damage to the nearby star. Yes, yes. I believe the Admiral's proposal will solve both problems efficiently, but we'll need to move fast. Use these access codes to override the infection and re-enable the web generator. The web generator is back online. Let's coordinate next steps for our respective vessels. Have a situation. The Nikul have detected the Tholian force here and have dispatched their fleet to our location. Quicker than you think, unfortunately. Though I gave Representative Katek every assurance that the situation was under control here, he refused to believe me. He said the Nikul would deal with the Tholians, and if we got in their way... I take it you've heard the news. Bright Eyes and I will do our best to implement our plan. But we'll need time and protection. Any Tholian vessels you can restore to battle readiness will be of great assistance. Here they come. Every Tholian ship repaired will be an ally in this conflict. Restore Tholian ships if possible. We need all the help we can get. Remember, aim to disable, not destroy. Scanning. generator is offline, and we've suffered critical damage. If we don't seal the Vortex soon, we may not get another chance. The Vortex is destabilizing the star at an accelerated rate. If we do not seal it soon, the star will reach supernova status. Right. The Protomatter Matrix is stable, so we need to reinforce the Tholian web lattice as soon as possible. I have sent the schematics for web-stitching probes to you. Deploy. 
deploy them around the perimeter of the vortex. Each one will extrude a proto-matter thread to my vessel. When all six probes are in position, we can energize the web and seal the vortex. Admiral Kumar K and I believe that sealing the vortex in this manner will allow the star to regenerate back to its previous state. But we must do so soon. Deploy the stitching probes at the designated warp. We need to energize the web soon in order to save the new star. Place the stitching probes quickly. Then energize the web. Web projector link established. Web projector link established. Web projector link established. Scanning in progress. Web projector link established. Scanning in progress. Web projector link established. Scanning in progress. Web projector link established. Probes are engaged. Energize the web. We think it is her. I owe you an apology. My science team informs me that our star has been saved by you, the Lucari, and the Tholians. Our wish for a revitalized star will have to wait until more research on our star's instability can be conducted. Though it seems we have a new wish to make today. A wish for peace between the Nakul and the Tholians. Today, we saw Tholians risk their lives to preserve our sun, despite our belligerence. If they are willing to do that, perhaps they will be willing to broker an end to hostilities between us. The Vortex remains closed, and our forces will be returning to Tholian space shortly. As a people, we are reluctant to work alongside non-Tholians, especially on matters we believe to be a result of their negligence. There will be many questions about today's events from our leaders. I will encourage them to put aside their xenophobic tendencies and collaborate with the Alliance on the Vortex issue. It will not be easy, to be sure, but it is an effort I am willing to make no matter the risk to my career or standing. I trust you will do the same when your leaders seek a solution to the problem. Very good. I shall leave you then with the words of an old friend. Live long and prosper. There are days out here where the beauty, mystery, and excitement make all the work and sacrifice worthwhile. And then... There are days like today. Of course. And today, we risked all. But not everyone lived to see our success. Indeed. May the captain and crew of the Treloon find peace within the light, in Lucar's name. I spoke with Bright Eyes earlier, and we both agreed to share all of the data we gathered today freely to anyone willing to work on the Vortex issue, regardless of their affiliation. Now is not the time to hoard information. Now is the time to act, before the Vortices cause irreparable damage to space-time.
status report. We have survived a transdimensional shunt, Captain. We are operating under emergency power, sir. Warp and impulse drives are offline. Restore main power as soon as possible, Engineer. What is our current position? Unable to verify, Captain. None of the nearby star systems appear on our navigational charts. Broaden your scan. Look for any recognizable systems. Sir, incoming warp signature detected. Unidentified vessel entering the system. Any sign of hostility? It is beautiful. Incoming hail, sir. Let's see what our new friends have to say. Starfleet Command has placed a high priority in repairing the numerous reality vortices you've discovered. Analysts are working on a list of vortices to close, based on their level of stability and potential danger to the systems they're located in. Admiral Kumarke will spearhead this operation, but she'll need your help once the time comes to begin the vortex repair procedures. I'll be in touch when the Admiral is ready to go.